You're very welcome to the National Marine Litter Forum. This has been organized by the Coastal Marine Research Center in UCC, and it's part of a European-funded project called the Marine Litter in European Sea Social Awareness and Co-Responsibility, or MARLISCO. During Clean Coast Week in May and the Big Beach Clean in September, our Clean Coast volunteers carry out marine litter surveys. And the results of those surveys, we find the number one litter item of the last couple of years has actually been caps from plastic bottles. Other litter items that feature quite highly would include plastic bottles, aluminium cans and cigarette butts. And really about 70% of all litter items counted on Irish beaches are actually made of plastic. People don't realise the connectivity of the environment. If you're outside a pub and you throw your cigarette on the ground uh, or your bottle cap, if they aren't collected in the street sweepings, that they're washed into the storm sewers, which go directly into the rivers, which then go to the sea. But the thing I suppose that we're most aware of, we come most aware of from the media, is the threats to, to wildlife that we see illustrated here. This is the contents of the gut of a dead fulmar. Um, now, the quantity wow. in that bag is not an exception. Yeah. That's 3.1 three, three, three grams of plastic, mainly, mm. in there. That's the average. That's the average for a fulmer. Over 95% of the fulmers in our waters have plastic. And that sample there represents the average from a typical fulmer. If we took an exception, then we could be looking at almost 60 times the quantity. And over the past two years, Looking at, if you paid our volunteers the minimum wage um, for the coastal cleanups that they participate in, you're looking at a bill of about 1.2 million euros. And that doesn't take into account the work of the local authorities in coming to collect that waste and dispose of it. Why is it that we want to scrub ourselves with small pieces of plastic? I'm, I'm not sure that most of society even knows that that's what they're doing. Mm. I'm curious to know why they're in there. I mean, it's supposedly as a, an abrasive, as a kind of exfoliant. You just asked me about the colours. Well, I think that's probably to do with marketing, brand differentiation, that this thing looks exciting because it's got all these little blue bits in it. The overriding point is that there's been very little consideration for the environmental fate. The consequences at the end of life have not really been considered here at all. Plastic is the material that we've chosen as a human race at the moment to package our food. If we got rid of it all tomorrow morning, we would waste 20 to 30 percent of the food that we all eat and things. So it absolutely has a function. Plastic isn't the enemy, but it's about what we do with it that's the problem. The things that will solve the problem of marine litter are capturing those materials at the end of their life and doing something better with them, which to Absolutely. my mind would be recycling. Today, thanks to our panel, uh, and thanks to all the people in our satellite groups. Thank all of you for coming uh, along today. Thanks.